Looking for a fun food experience? This is Food Done It. Food Done It is an edible mystery tour. I kind of invented it. The we are Elizabeth and Kevin Hindley. So if you imagine your favorite parts of a food tour, kind of a progressive dinner where you're going from place to place, having a little bit of each spot, now combine that with an escape room or like a scavenger hunt, you're getting together with your friends, um, really having a fun night out. If you like whodunits, you're gonna like food donuts. Parties of three to eight people book their food donut experience on their website, fooddonut.com. This adventure weaves its way through Patch Up. So when people go into locale to start off, they say, hi. We're here for you? Food Done It. The we in this case, me and my wife, Christy. Yes, they made an exception to the three person minimum on this day. Make sure to wear comfortable shoes and bring fully charged smartphones. You'll need the ladder to play the game. Food Done It provides the rest. They get uh, a little cipher and solve the cipher. Decipher the cipher. You'll also receive instructions when you get to the first restaurant on how to start your adventure. And you're going to get a little food right away because we don't want anybody hungry and having to solve a puzzle before they get anything to eat. Delicious as always. You're going to eat at five different places, so uh, definitely pace yourself. Prepare. What language what is, what is French? French? When you solve the, the first um, riddle that allows you to begin the adventure... Pressing on the axe! Our next stop, Food Done It or, as they say, FDI Headquarters. Not a restaurant, but a shop, with some sights to behold. It's actually reminds me of Perry and the Hendersons, but I digress. Cool. So once you get to Headquarters, see if you're good enough to be an investigator. At Headquarters, you're going to pick up your sleuth gear, like your mustache glasses. Oh, that's uh -huh. fun this. From there, on to the next stop. Oh, fudge loving. And the next adventure. Once you're at your sweet stop, you're going to look for a clue. What's uh, it, Nancy? See, look at that. Now you're using your noggin. After you've done that, the clerk there is going to give you a puzzle. You'll have to shake it, turn it around, see if you can find some special things inside. I once got really sick when I ate like two pounds of them. Once you solve that puzzle, you go to the clerk and they're going to ask you if you'd like to choose ice cream or any truffles that they have. I'm going truffle. Thank you. It's really hard to eat with a mustache. Marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Absolutely. Million person I know who doesn't like ice cream. This bothers me about you. Yeah, my wife doesn't like ice cream. Her loss, my gain. But this Kilwin stop ain't the sweet finish. Oh no. We've got plenty more stops to make and a mystery to solve. At the Colombian restaurant Gallo, things get really interesting. That drink is really strong. Now if you're really a food sleuth and you want to test your taste buds for a small additional charge, they offer a mystery mojito. And if you guess what they flavored it with, then you get to come back for a, with a coupon for a free drink at Happy Hour. Really, really, really strong. They serve this delicious, easy to share finger food platter. Okay. Oh, wow, what do we got here? But don't fill up because there's more food to come. All of our puzzles are basically engaging there so that every level can do it. Patchog was my inspiration. Uh, there's just so many restaurants opening. So how can we get people to do multiple restaurants in one night? Well, food's on it really allows you to sample multiple restaurants in one night. Some of our partners offer uh, some choices. It becomes just an extravaganza of amazing food. They ain't kidding. This is good too. It's um, hot sauce with the blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Try that. Dude, gotta do the food. At times the food is so much it can distract. By the time you get to that meatball place, you may need a doggy bag, but gotta keep your eye on the prize. And the puzzle there is where we take a picture and sort of superimpose different letters. So you have to take those letters out, put them together, and that word spells something. Challenge accepted. Oh, so we have to, oh, you're good at this. Yeah, it was me. So the writing is, hold on, hold on. Let me do it. Spot all the fakers. Fakes letters spell it. Mm. Sorry. 
Okay. Still good? Yeah. Code is. It's in the zone. Oh, you need my help? No. No, I don't need your help. Let me see. No. Automatically correct it. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, Mojito Brain. After your meatballs, you're finally going to catch up with Chuck, the delivery boy, who actually has some cold hard evidence for you. That's going to lead you to your final stop. You better hurry. Run. 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 If you get there fast enough to the final location, then you'll find the, the clue. Right, right, let's do here this. We go. Oh, here we are. Look at that right there. See? That's when you're going to finally get your dessert. A delicious cupcake, the cold brew, and cupcakes. Wow! wow. Look at that! No all way. in all, cannoli action. Oh my god. Do I need to share? Do we have an excuse to come back to Patchogue on a Saturday night? And if you think this story was interesting, wait till you hear theirs. When Elizabeth came to me with the first idea for the cupcake conundrum, great name. Then she told me that it was going to be about missing engagement ring. I said, aha, because we've been talking, we've been talking about engagement rings. Um, so I thought, here's an opportunity where I can do something clever. So while she was thinking that I was just building uh, a, a business story, I really was, uh, I was building the business at the same time that I was also planning our proposal. Of course, we had to have a beta test. Uh, some of our family and friends who got together to help us do a test run and that was the that was the moment that day was crazy i did not expect it at all so from the beginning i knew that at the end of the beta test i was going to propose we were at the last place i said oh thank goodness this works i think this is going to work i just wanted to go home and relax since the story ends with a cupcake in a box and then discovering the engagement ring uh, that was a perfect opportunity when she opened the box there was our actual engagement ring and he turned and went down on one knee. And I proposed right there. And I just could not believe it was happening. We started a business on the same day we got engaged. Not only are you guys embarking on this, you know, this new marriage, but a new business together. We hope to be like you guys one day. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. Zucchini. It does not require any knowledge of food whatsoever, which I really appreciated. Happy wife, happy life. And for more on Food Done It, visit their website, fooddoneit.com. That's fooddoneit.com.